Hello everybody, Dee Willis here, the Design Diva. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own QR code in Canva. Now, I'm gonna use my Instagram vertical business cards as an example uh, for this tutorial. And if you happen to have purchased the vertical Instagram business cards, this will be the very first thing I would like for you to do is to make your own QR code. So we will scroll down to page two because it is on the back of the card. Of course, if you move this out the way, there is a black area right there where you can put your QR code. If you leave this code, this QR code here, because it works for real, you can scan it with your cell phone if you would like. It would take you to my Etsy shop. So you want to change that, right? So what I would advise that you do is delete it. So you go ahead and what you would do is you would delete that and then you will see it is blank. You will go over here to elements and just put QR code in there. Now you would see it says use app. Okay, so the QR code by Canva use app, click that. Now it's going to tell you to put in your web address. What you want to do is put in your website or your Instagram dot com forward slash I am D Willis. Now that's my Instagram right and you would put your website or wherever you want your visitors when they scan this code wherever you want them to go then you would generate the code now that you have the code you will go up here and you would size it accordingly for that black area see how we have that there now if you press shift and option i don't know what it is on a windows it actually puts it in there uh, I'll let you expand it equally on both sides. Okay, so there we go. I'm trying to get it directly in the center. And let me see. Yep. All right, so now we have this QR code in there. And if somebody scans this, it would take them over to the URL, which is the Instagram page that I embedded into this code. All right, so that's how you would do that. You will also change this area here and put in your text logo. I say a text logo, not a picture, because it wouldn't be aesthetically pleasing to have a picture right here and then your QR picture right here is just too much. So I would say just put your web address here or just the name of your business right here. And again, guys, this is very easy to customize. You just put your website right there, or you can just put the name of your business and above the QR code like so. You can change the color if you like to, and as you can see, these are the photos in the document. So it's giving me some colors that match because of the Instagram right here and other colors that are in this document. So it's giving me something right here. So you can change the colors guys on that. You can change this, you can make it say something different. Um, of course it's scam me. Uh, you could put your Instagram handle here, you know, whatever your handle is. If you run out of space, say, for example, it starts doing that, you just stretch it out, guys. Just stretch it out and then center center it. When you see the lines, it'll tell you it's centered. So there you go. And you can move these things around however you would like. And you can delete whatever you do not want. So that would be the first thing to do on creating a QR code for either this business card or whatever else you wanted to create a QR code for. You can do that easily within Canva. Now up here at the top, you would see there's no image there. You can use your own image or you can use an image of a stock photo if you want. You just drag and drop these in guys, just drag and drop them. So you can use a stock photo if you want, you can blow it up. You double click inside the image and then it allows you to blow it up and then you click done and then you can put your name here. These are things that can be moved around, but you want to be careful. You can change this here, that text. 
you will want to be careful once you do all of these changes. Now, these are two separate areas. This, of course, I have some explanation text here that explains to you how you can do that. These icons in the middle of the little highlight circles, these are custom icons. You really cannot change the color of these, not unless you go into the edit image and you click on possibly duo, duo tone, you go to duo tone, which is probably a pro feature. Okay. So this is a pro account. And if you use a pro feature, you have to pay. So typically you cannot change the colors of these just to let you know. However, you can go over here and get money, get some, and then go over here guys to the filter and filter free. Anything that's pro, I have the crown, but you can filter free and then they'll show you all the free icons. So then you can use that icon if you want it to change the color, resize it, and you can put that inside the middle of there and you can delete this out if you so choose. You can delete that, slide the money in there and resize it and put it in the middle. So you can either use these that are there or you can uh, find your own and you can change them out. You can also change these, uh, the wording, the text, and this is pretty much self-explanatory. Once you finish designing your business cards, you can actually come up here to the top and it, you can print business cards right through Canva. You, it'll tell you the front page and the back. It'll ask you the type of paper and it'll ask if you want matte or glossy. If you really want these colors to pop, I would definitely choose glossy, especially with all of the gradients, it'll make it really shine. And then of course you can choose how many cards you want, 100 business cards, 150. It's pretty reasonably priced in Canva until you start getting up into the uh, 1500, 2000 range. You can probably get that cheaper with Vistaprint or uh, your own local printer. But for low runs, it's pretty good because you'll pay more with um, another company. But as you do this, you will continue. Now you see it gives you a border. Let me minimize so I can minimize this for the scale. You see this border? That's why you have to be careful where you move these things, right? Because if you don't want to have moved it up too far and then it's not is going to get cut off when the printing happens. That's why it was already designed and in place to fit. So if anything is out of place, it will tell you. Canva will say, let's get ready to print. And then it'll say, automatically fix an issue. I do not automatically fix it because if you click automatically fix, it'll start moving stuff around on your business card. And I do not like that. So I would like to go in here and physically move it myself and then once you move it it will say no issues detected and you can continue to check out and or you can if you do not choose to have it with print it with canva you can still check it that's why i would advise you anyway to go to still check it to make sure the cutoff is good and then if it's good here most likely it would be good with a printer so what I do is I check it here, make sure everything is inside the safety zone. And then what you would do is to go share it. And then you would download it as a PNG or a PDF, just depends on what your printer prefers. Um, and you can download it as such and then save it to your computer and upload the file. Okay. So there you have it. If you like this business card, if you like this design for yourself, an Instagram business card, you I will go ahead and put the link down in the description area where you can actually check out this template and get it for yourself. Other than that, that's how you create your own QR code in Canva and also how to customize the vertical Instagram business cards. Into the next video. Bye.